Swamiji Kriyananda, you have written so many books, and I want to talk to you about your book on the Gita. Why did you write this book? It's the most important book I've written. Mm -hmm. You can show it to people. Yeah. I was with Yogananda when he was interpreting. He said to me after he'd finished it, he said, millions of people will read this book, but millions will find God through this book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm no longer in his organization. I have not his original writings. And I had a dream several years ago in which I said to Master, because he had told me my work, he said, your work is writing, editing, and lecturing. How could I edit his books when I didn't have access to them? And uh, I especially was asking him about this one because he was so keen on getting it out. But what they did was, really, it was a disaster. They did a very bad job. And it was so easy to read when he wrote it. But what they read it, what they edited it is almost impossible to read. They made philosophical mistakes in it. It was really, in any way, I was very unhappy with it. And I said to him in this dream, how can I do this book when I don't have access to it? I know you told me to do it. He said, don't overlook the possibility of a skylight. And many years later, I thought, well, at least let me write what I can remember. Mm -hmm. And I sat down and started to write. I suddenly found I could remember every single book, everything he said in that book. Amazing. And so from memory, I wrote this book. It's not my book, it's his book. How long did it take you to channel this book? It took me book? two months, less, two days less than two months. Wow. And another month to edit, and it was done. So to Yogananda, this was his most important piece of work. It was his most important piece, even more important than autobiography of a yogi. And why was it so important to because him? Because the Bhagavad Gita is the supreme scripture of the world. Mm. Jesus' sayings are great, but they're tied in with dialogue and situations and so on. The Gita is pure teaching, and it's so simple and so misunderstood. So how does someone read this book? I mean, do you read it from cover to cover, People or you just read this, open you can it up? read it anywhere you want. You can read it from cover to cover. You can read it in any sentence, and it will be meaningful to you. Many people have said this is the greatest Gita they've ever read. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Thank Swami. You. Thank you so much.